Yep, in this video, I'm gonna show you two free ways to use your laptop or another desktop as your secondary screen. So let's get into it. So if you're new to the channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss part two of building and flipping computers for profit. You can do this all in your spare time and I'm gonna cover the sale process, how to pimp on a budget, and how much profit that you can make by following the few simple steps that I show you. And if you haven't seen part one and you don't know who Derek is, you can watch that video up in the cards there. Watch it, it's worth it. Oh, and make sure that you get subscribed because we're going to be doing a 100 subscriber giveaway. Now with a channel with a million subscribers, you have such a small chance of winning. But with this channel, we're not quite there yet. So you have a much larger chance and hopefully you win. But as I mentioned before, in this video right here, I'm gonna show you two free ways that you can get the following setup. A desktop is your primary and a laptop is your secondary display. A desktop is your primary and a desktop is your secondary display. A laptop is your primary and a desktop is your secondary display. A laptop is your primary and a laptop is your secondary display. All of those configurations will work, so go grab your old laptop, your portable battle station, your dusty old rig and we'll get this set up for you today. And also talk you through the benefits of both and where you might use one over the other. So method number one is Windows Display Projection. This may be possible with Windows 8 and I haven't tested the interoperability of Windows 8 and Windows 10 devices working together, but try and set this up with Windows 8 if that's what you have and let people know in the comments below whether you get that set up successfully or not, because it'd be really good to give other people that knowledge. Otherwise, all the tests done today are with Windows 10 devices on both ends, so I'll talk you through how that works. Windows Display Projection is more like your typical extended display setup and allows you to move applications onto the secondary computer's display. Think of it like another display plugged into your computer as a secondary monitor, but instead of a monitor, it's another computer and instead of a display cable, it's your local area network. This means that you won't be able to interact with the secondary computer as its own computer. Everything that you see and interact with will be essentially your primary computer. So how can we get this set up? Easy. When your secondary device, the one that you want to project to, go into settings and type projection. You may have this warning pop up if you're using an older device, but I've been successful getting this set up regardless with my 2012 Asus Ultrabook. However, if you see this message, you will get increased latency and decreased stability, especially when changing resolutions. Click the first drop-down box and select Available Everywhere. Choose the settings you prefer for the other two drop-downs and select whether you want to be able to project to this computer even if you are on battery. Note the name of the computer below as we will need that in a second. Once you have that set up, make sure both computers are connected to the same network. If one computer is connected to the 2.4G and the other one is connected to the 5G, this will not work. Go over to your primary computer, the one that you want to project from, and hit Windows P. This will bring up the projection options and I'll select Extend My Display, but choose whichever you like and select Connect to Display. Your secondary device will appear with the name that you noted in the previous step. Once you click on it, a notification will pop up on your secondary display asking you to confirm the connection. Once you confirm that, you should be connected. And in Windows Display Projection, you can also right click the desktop, go into Display Settings and change the layout of the two screens. For troubleshooting, if you're having issues connecting to the computer, try turning them both off and on and connecting again. And if you're having issues seeing the secondary computer, double check that both computers are on the same network, then go back and make sure that you got the settings right in the previous step. So what are some noteworthy issues that I've seen in my testing? Number one, if you use your secondary computer and navigate to the bottom of the screen to click off the projection application for more than a few seconds, it will just terminate the connection instead of suspending it. It would have been nice to be able to resume the projection easily by reselecting the application. Number two, if you get the this device may have trouble displaying your content message, don't bother adjusting the display resolution unless you really need to. It's just going to derp out, get confused and terminate the connection. And then you're gonna to have to reconnect it and get all set up again. Number three, there is a lot of latency on the secondary computer when projecting to it. And it's significantly worse if you do get the, this device may have trouble displaying your content message. Don't expect to be playing any FPS games on your secondary device. Or well, maybe I should, that might be a fun video. Let me know in the comments. But this is a great free option if you have another computer or laptop that you just want to take advantage of its screen on your primary computer. Method number two is share mouse. 
and ShareMouse is what's known as a software KVM that allows you to control multiple computers using a single set of inputs. This means that you can seamlessly travel from one computer to another. The difference between this and Windows Display Projection is that it treats your secondary device as its own standalone device and the benefits to that are you can access files on both computers and even transfer files between the two computers. ShareMouse have also provided a shared clipboard layer in the software so you can simply copy and paste text between the two computers. It was f infuriating not having that in an earlier version of ShareMouse, but if you're looking to move an application window between displays, that's unfortunately not possible unlike Windows Display Projection. ShareMouse can also be set up with any variation of Windows 10 and OS X 10.13 and 10.15, and I'm assuming future revisions as well. Having Windows 10 and Mac devices work seamlessly together could be a huge benefit if you do have both, but similarly, they do have to be on the same network. So to get ShareMouse set up is super simple. On your primary computer, go to the ShareMouse download page, link in the description, download and install. Then simply repeat the process for your secondary computer. Once the application is running on both computers, it should connect to one another seamlessly, allowing you to mouse over to the secondary computer and do anything you might need to. Access files, transfer between the two computers, send emails, pause background music, you name it. And in ShareMouse, to change the screen layout, go over to the system tray, right click on the ShareMouse icon and select Display Manager to change it. And unlike Windows Display Projection, there is extremely minimal latency. I would feel a lot more comfortable playing an FPS game in this scenario, but I mean, I wouldn't and you probably shouldn't, but you could if you wanted to. But as I mentioned before, you can't move an application window onto the other computer's screen like you can do in Windows Display Projection. So which is best for you is really a you decide sort of thing. So there we go. Let me know in the comments below which option you chose and why. I'd genuinely like to know which one suits your needs and what reason that might be. Get subscribed so that you don't miss more techie how-tos, builds and tutorials. The next tutorial will actually be on Windows tips and tricks that you need to start using right now. So get subscribed for that and make sure that you stay tuned to see how much profit we make from selling Derek. But otherwise, share this video out, drop a like, post a comment and I'll see you in the next video.